Hi everybody, Andy Gregorio here with a video update on our upcoming weekend weather. Hey, what do you know, another weekend in February and yeah, another winter storm threat heading our way. This one's going to be a multi-hazard storm, not only the potential for a moderate to perhaps heavy snowfall, but also some extremely cold air coming in. Combine the extreme air temperatures, the extreme Arctic cold that will be moving in with some very strong winds. We're going to be looking at very dangerous wind chills developing developing across the area uh, by late Saturday night through Sunday into Sunday night and perhaps even early Monday. Matter of fact, wind chills uh, during Sunday could be in the extreme danger zone throughout the area. Uh, basically anywhere from 30 degrees to 40 degrees below zero uh, throughout the region. And when you factor in the threat for some snow falling uh, Saturday into Sunday, there's also going to be some blowing and drifting of snow as well and maybe some uh, whiteout conditions as and uh, in addition to that, the snowfall itself on Saturday into Sunday could be heavy in places, especially across parts of uh, eastern New York State to central and southern New England, especially across eastern portions of New England, eastern Massachusetts, the hard-hit Boston area, back down through uh, Rhode Island, southeastern Connecticut, and uh, maybe the eastern half of Long Island might be looking at the potential for some blizzard conditions uh, developing by late in the day Saturday into a Sunday morning. Basically what we are going to be looking at over the next couple of days is uh, some really cold air moving on in and as this cold air moves on in um, it'll set the stage for a coastal storm development off the east coast. What we're looking at here is a graphic of the GFS forecast model data and uh, what we have on the right here is the surface track of the clipper coming in over the weekend and the upper air features and uh, basically what we will be looking at is that the cl clipper coming down on Saturday is going to redevelop off the mid-Atlantic coast rapidly intensify uh, a new developing coastal low you see it right here and what we are concerned about though with this upcoming pattern is that we will be looking at the upper air energy parts of this system working its way right across New York State and New England and this is why even though the coastal storm will be taking a track off to our east and southeast of New England initially and then looping on up this upper air feature is going to come right across New York State and that's why we think we could be looking at some moderate snowfall for sure. Another bit of data that uh, I like to look at and have been looking at lately is this um, what we call the SIPS analog threat guidance. It's, it's a pretty useful and, and, and powerful tool. Basically what it takes is our weather guidance and uh, tries to compare it to weather situations in the past, the analog to this upcoming weather event, similar to uh, past storms and the events that have already occurred. And uh, one of the things that is interesting is that over the weekend, the SIPS analog guidance is indicating the potential for a moderate snowfall across a, a good chunk of the viewing area. Matter of fact, the uh, median snowfall from past events similar to this one that's upcoming to the weekend is in the four to eight inch range. So that's why we feel pretty good. I feel pretty good that we will be dealing with at least a moderate snow threat. Now it could be more than that uh, depending on exactly how everything pans out and evolves in time. Uh, so we'll just have to keep an eye on it but count on uh, not the best of weather conditions this upcoming weekend. Uh, we're looking at not only the wind and the cold coming in but the threat for some snow and there could be some poor traveling conditions as well throughout the area so do keep that in mind if you are going to be uh, doing any traveling. Uh, make sure the car is well prepped and that you have a winter safety kit in the car. Everything's all gassed up and your cell phone is uh, fully charged as well because we do uh, want to make sure that you are safe this upcoming weekend uh, with the storm. Of course we'll keep an eye on it throughout the next couple of days. Uh, really can't come up with any firm snowfall amounts just yet. Today is only Thursday. Probably won't have any idea as to potential snowfall amounts until late tomorrow afternoon or early Friday night. And uh, of course when we do have that, when I do have that, I will let you know exactly what's going to happen. Thanks for watching this update. Hope it helps out. And uh, again, uh, keep following me on Twitter, on Facebook, 
and on Google+, and I'll have all the latest information for you. Have a good day.